Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater Soundcheck. This time out, a new premium audio interface from Steinberg. Let's get started. Today we're checking out the AXR4, a new premium audio interface from Steinberg. Now this interface features a lot of new technologies and a lot of great features, not least of which is incredible sound quality. It has hybrid preamps featuring designs from Rupert Neve Designs, as well as new 32-bit integer audio quality. Really sounds great. The AXR4 will work with any DAW running on Mac or PC, but if you do happen to be running Cubase, you'll have direct access and direct control over the features of the interface. Let's take a quick tour. You can control everything from the front panel of the interface, and there's also a software component that gives you deeper access, as well as latency-free mixing. Beginning on the left side of the interface, we have four combi inputs. The first two channels accept mic, line, or instrument level signals, while the second two will accept mic or line level. We have eight analog outputs on the back, as well as 16 digital outputs, and we have two headphone jacks on the front. This gives us a total of 28 inputs and 24 outputs. If you need more inputs, three AXR4 interfaces can be stacked together, giving you a total of 84 inputs and 72 outputs simultaneously. The interface connects to your Mac or PC by Thunderbolt, and there are several different ways you can choose to run the driver inside your computer. If you're operating a two-channel audio program, such as iTunes or something like that for music playback, you can choose two-track playback. There's a standard Thunderbolt playback. The interface supports up to 384 kilohertz sample rate and resolution up to 32-bit integer. Continuing our tour of the front panel, we choose what's being displayed here in the LCD and what we're operating on using these buttons here in the center. We select a channel by hitting the select button where we can access the gain, turn the pad on and off, phantom power, select phase, turn the high pass filter on and off, also set the frequency for the high pass filter, and also engage high impedance mode for direct inputting instruments on those first two channels. It's very easy to link two channels together. Simply hold one and press the other. The second will flash and you've now created a stereo input. The routing of all those inputs and outputs is very flexible with the AXR4. You can control that within your computer, but you can also access it from the front panel. If we hit the monitor switch, we can assign what's feeding the two headphones as well as the outputs. We can mute channels, and we can always escape back to our home screen by hitting the home button. This takes us back to the meters. On the top we have inputs, on the bottom we have outputs. All of the settings in the AXR4 can be saved as scenes so they can be instantly recalled. And our setup screen is where we access things like link channels, where our clock is coming from, sample rate, peak hold settings, and so on. A great feature of the inputs on the AXR4 is the silk processing from Rupert Neve Designs, and that's also accessible here in the center. You can turn that on or off per channel for the four front panel inputs. You can choose whether we have silk red or silk blue. Silk red affects the high frequencies, while silk blue affects the low frequencies. And then you can dial in the amount using the large knob. On the back panel, we have quarter inch inputs and outputs, as well as optical inputs and outputs for digital, and a multi-pin connector for digital connections if you're running AES. We have MIDI I.O. as well as word clock I.O. and our Thunderbolt connections. Other features of the AXR4 include ultra low latency, so you don't have to worry about any delays when you're tracking or overdubbing. We also have built-in DSP effects that you can access either from the DSP effects mixer in your computer or running as plugins inside your DAW. For optimum sound quality, the XR4 features Steinberg's brand new SSPLL technology. Now this is an ultra low technology and it really does make a difference in the quality of the audio that's coming through this interface. To give you an idea of how much power there really is in this interface, let's jump over to the computer. First I'll show you the bundled DSP mix effects software that comes with the interface, and then we'll take a look at how you can access it directly inside Cubase. DSP MixFX AXR software comes with the AXR4 and it gives you full access to all the features as well as a meter bridge. Here's the way it works. I've got it loaded up here on my MacBook Pro and there are several windows. The first of these is a meter bridge and this can show us all of our inputs and outputs. Inputs over here, outputs over here. You can see we have analog and we have digital and we can also look at signals that are coming back from our DAW. The next window is the matrix mixer and it allows us to take advantage of all the signal flow possibilities within this interface. So we've got our inputs aligned here across the top, and if we scroll over, we've got our outputs here. And we can assign anything to anything, basically. We can set up the level as well as the pan for any of those signals that are feeding into the output buses. Our third window allows us to configure what's showing inside our mixer. And then we can check out the mixer window itself. Now this gives us control over all the features inside the console. So here at the top, we have our microphone preamplifier. We can turn 48 volt phantom power on and off. Engage a 20 dB pad. Engage high impedance mode for the first two channels. And then we have gain control. Our high pass filter. 
and we can set the frequency for that. And we've also got phase invert. We can show or hide that. Next up, we have our silk controls. We can turn that on or off, engage red or blue mode, and set the amount. And again, we can hide or show that as we please. But where the fun really starts is being able to insert latency-free plugins inside this console while we're tracking. So we can choose to record or not. We can turn our effects on and off and select which one. So we have a channel strip here, which gives us compression as well as EQ. We can also load the 276 compressor, which gives us vintage style compression on that track. We can load up a vintage style EQ, which gives us full parametric control over the frequency shaping for the channel. Two of those plugins can operate simultaneously. And remember, those are running on DSP inside the audio interface, so there's no latency when we install those into our mixer. Plugin versions are also available to run in your DAW during mixdown. We also have access to the RevX Reverb, which is a great sounding reverb that again is running on DSP inside the interface. That's available here. We can set the amount per channel. Choose the type of reverb over here on the right, and we can open up a full control panel to see exactly what we're doing with the reverb and to load up different presets. At the bottom, we have our standard pan control, mute, solo, and fader, and we can assign what outputs each channel is feeding. We can choose to view the analog inputs, the digital inputs, or our DAW returns. On the right, we have our master section, which has four subgroups for feeding the headphones and two other outputs. And we can also install those plugins on each of those subgroups. So you can see this is a very deep system, but it's also very easy to operate. Basically, it functions inside your computer exactly the way a mixing console was with the addition of those built-in effects. It's very cool and very easy to use. Now, if you're a Cubase user, you can access those features directly inside your DAW. I'm running Cubase Pro 10. Let's check it out. With the AXR4 connected to our computer and selected as the audio interface for Cubase, when we create a track, we have the option to directly access the AXR4 settings. So here's our mic control up here. We've got our inserts, we've got the reverb, and so on. So it's very easy to configure the setup inside Cubase directly in the AXR4. Super easy to operate, and it's a great workflow. As I mentioned, the plugins that come with the AXR4 and that run inside the DSP MixFX software also run as plugins inside your DAW. For example, I've got the Comp 276 running inside Cubase here. What we haven't spent a lot of time talking about with the AXR4 is the sound quality of this interface, and it sounds phenomenal. The ultra-low jitter, ultra-low latency make it extremely easy and extremely clean to work with, but what I really want to point out to you is those four front panel microphone inputs, which are hybrid R&D designs. That means they're a combination of analog circuitry along with DSP modeling that give you all the sound quality of Rupert Neve design preamps along with that silk control so you can really shape the texture of your incoming signals. That goes a long way toward giving you great sounding recordings using this interface. I hope you enjoyed this look at the AXR4 audio interface from Steinberg. Definitely a premium interface as far as sound quality and features go. A great addition to any studio, whether you're running Cubase or any DAW on Mac or PC. Thanks for joining me for Sweetwater Soundcheck. I'm Mitch Gallagher.